And on this open debate tonight, and I'm saying it's open because I'm keeping it open right from the start. We're not taking introductory rounds. I want it to be a straightforward debate that goes right up to 10 o'clock tonight. And I only request everyone for openness about the other's position, openness to recent historical facts. And Pawan Varma Junaid Mattu of the JDU National Conference, Samir Kaul, political analyst, he was earlier with the PDP, and Naved Hamid, President of the All India Muslim Majlis e Mushawarat. I would only request to you with all humility that just because my views don't agree with yours, let's not try and outshout me in the course of this debate. Let's remain focused on the facts. If I point out, for example, Buzz, let me introduce Nalin Kohli, Sushil Pandit, and Gauravarya. That if I were to point out Nalin Kohli, BJP, Sushil Pandit, activist, Gauravarya uh, is a defense analyst, expert on Kashmir affairs. If I point out, for example, the historical inconsistency of uh, Junaid Mattu's party, I don't want him to get angry tonight. I don't want him to shout at me tonight. I want him to understand where I'm coming from. Because unless you understand your own faults, you will never be able to correct them. I want to start with you, Junaid. And the debate is open. After the all-party meeting in Delhi, after holding the meeting by all opposition parties, after meeting the President Pranam Mukherjee, your party says the situation is grim because of the Mufti government in the state, Mehbooba Mufti government in the state. But when the Kashmir Valley was burning in a similar situation in 2010, your own party had a diametrically opposing stand on things. And I just want to ask you right at the start, you know, what will you gain by ignoring the reality, Junaid Mattu? Because when protesters had come on the streets and they were pelting stones in 2010, Omar Abdullah absolved his government from the responsibility of the situation and said, anti-national forces with vested interests are doing this. Now when Mehbooba Mufti's PDP is in power in the state, he takes a U-turn. He says, what happened after Buran Wani's killing is the res result of our own mistakes. I have the exact quotes. When in 2010, on the use of excessive force, Omar Abdullah said, it takes two hands to clap. You should not instigate the forces. Now he says that Mehbooba Mufti chooses to tacitly support the use of excessive force in the valley. In 2010, he said, and that is completely exposing his hypocrisy, he said that people are getting paid to go into the streets and throw stones. In 2010, 16, he says, you can't, you know, you need, you, you can't uh, risk alienating the people of Kashmir. So he plays down Kashmir, the role. I'll continue, Junaid. In, 2000 and, in 2010, Junaid Mattu, so you completely understand your own party's hypocrisy. I'm not talking about your own. In 2010, he himself board. accused the chairman of the Hurriyat Conference, Mirwais Omar Farooq, for the violence. Now he says, engage these people. Limit hoti hai. You turn so hypocrisy ki. You have to understand, if you take one position in 2010, I'm going to quote it to you in 2016. You get what I'm saying, Junaid Mattu. The debate is open. Please respond. Nalin Kohli, everyone else, debate is open. Go ahead. I have more examples, but I'll let go for now. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm, I have all the time. I, I would like to hear more examples. No, you answer. Lovely. Let's see how you answer, you. and then I'll give you more examples. It, it's... It's, it's, it's so rare to hear you speak on your uh, debates. I really wanted to hear some See, more the problem your, is uh, that examples. Answer, uh, answer, answer the question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I hope that you extend me the same courtesy that you expect of everybody Arre, else. Bhai, why such a long introduction? Come to the point. Uh, but yeah, I want to because you're a hypocrite. That's why. You expect courtesy, so, but you don't want to offer courtesy. Answer, answer the question. Answer the question. You have become a master of quoting things out of context. <laughs> if, if you stay quiet, I will answer your question. <laughs> out of context. You have become a master of quoting things out of context. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm glad you find that funny. See, if you don't want to I'm answer the question, say I don't want to answer. Yeah. 
I will answer it the way I want to answer it. I will not answer it the no, way. No, because you if want you need more time to collect yourself, find the facts and respond, I'll give you the time. But if you are giving a long introduction because you're not being able to collect okay. your facts, then I'll give you Mr. more time. Goswami, Mr. Goswami, Mr. Goswami, Mr. Goswami, if you don't want to hear what people have to say, you should not hound them and call them a million times to come on your show. You are now you are now taking a lot of time, I'm your afraid. Your time is precious and my time is precious too. No, no, my time is precious no, too. Do you, you want more time? Open, do you want more time? Prolonged monologue. You gave a very prolonged monologue. I don't want more, more time. Whatever happened in 2010 will not be justified by national conference, was not justified by national conference. When you quote things out of context, you are saying that we should justify violence to eventually condemn violence. We never justified violence. We never justified violence in 2016, 2010. We are not even justified justifying violence today. Umar Abdullah today said that violence from any side, in any way, shape, or form is bad, and that is what we said in 2010. We are no. in no way endorsing stone pelting. No. All we are saying is that you cannot shoot yourself through this problem. You cannot shoot yourself out of this problem. You couldn't do it in 2010, no. and we can't do it now. No. We've never said that. We he, he no. categorically said no, that I we have, have not come to Delhi to complain about the state government. This Amen. issue is much bigger than uh, the state government. Uh, this issue is much bigger I, uh, than the adulation and admiration of the central government. I, I remember. This issue is a political and I a remember, issue. I remember. I remember. And I'm opening up the debate here right now. I remember that in 2010, 100 people had died. You were in power. And then you said that that is maximum restraint. 100 people died, you were in power, and you said maximum restraint. Yeah, well, I just don't time, understand, yeah, and I'm sure, time, I'm sure, Junaid, let me complete my sentence. I'm not making personal observations so of what kind of person you are. Allow anybody else to I am, I am no, only, no, no. I am only pointing no. out to you that I in 2010, about either, by the way, the debate will be answer. open, you had the introductory remark, but I'll just say one thing, that in 2010, the Omar Abdullah government said that we have asked for maximum restraint and despite this 100 people died then. How can you now shift over on the other side and say that now there is excessive force? Because 100 people die, 100 people die in 2010 is maximum restraint. 100 people die in 2010 is maximum restraint. By what definition, so, so Jonathan Matu? Do you need to keep dying for another 100 years? 100 people died maximum to, uh, restraint. Uh, answer your position then. How was 100 if people died maximum, maximum restraint in 2010? Time, you tell me tonight. Because the situation was of a magnitude. And that, that time you said, that time you said the, the Kashmiri youth are instigating the security forces. These were the you words of Omar Abdul. You are a master of quoting things out of I am context. quoting the whole damn thing. I am quoting it. I am quoting it and I am going to quote the whole thing. No, quoted in Greater Kashmir. It no, takes two hands to clap while we expect security forces to exercise right. maximum restraint. You should not instigate them. These are the words of Omar Abdul. They should not instigate the forces. So why are you, why are you not saying now, the same thing now? The Say now. That because are they, are they being instigated or not out of his bed because because a lecturer was if you have the courage if you have the, if you are a man of courage please listen to this sentence because a phd doctorate in english literature a lecturer was dragged out of his bed when he was reading a book and beaten to death by the indian army and the hundred people who were killed in by no less the hundred people who were killed in 2010 were all guilty the hundred people killed in 2010 were all guilty I'm don't don't or shoot no. off the shoulders of innocent people. I'm asking of your everybody, position taken in government right then. Now is a stone pelter. Everybody right now is a stone pelter. But when, everybody were pellet guns introduced? Okay, okay, one That's question and then I'll take it open. Okay, Junaid, 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 wow. Junaid, listen, Junaid, listen. One question and then I'm opening it up, right? So that at least the one thing you can't complain about is that I was not given a chance to speak. I have just one factual question to you: Is it or is it not true? And everybody is watching this tonight. You answer yes or no, then we take it forward. Is it or is it not true that pellet guns were introduced in Kashmir in 2010 and at that time you were in power? Is it true or is it not true that the state is... Uh, you want me to repeat the question? You want more time? Do you, no, no. Do you, do you know? Were pellet guns introduced, introduced in Kashmir in 2010, and were they even used then the and thereafter by security forces? And they said these are non-lethal weapons. 
They introduced them in 2010 and said they are not. And you took it at face value. Were they used? 2010. Were they used then? How many? Yeah, we don't think. Were people injured by pellet guns then? Innocent, you know. Were people used by pellet guns? No, but people were blinded. People were not blinded. Oh, so people were used. People were hurt. 200 people were not blinded. Oh, you didn't know they would be blinded, so you allowed the use of pellet guns in 2010. Viewers. I leave it for you to judge whether Junaid is answering my questions tonight. Well, people, the debate is open. Like you who lie very well the debate is open. First speaker from the other side. Mr. Junaid Mattu, I'd like to have a word in here, please, sir. Gaurav Arya, Major Gaurav Arya, with a question to Junaid Mattu on the Kashmir reality debate. Go ahead, Gaurav. Sir, all this talk about the pellet guns being used in Kashmir. Yes, pellet guns are non-lethal. What is the alternative? What do you want? Do you want us to start using 7.62 well, Kalashnikovs there? No, your own. Please minister, answer my question, Mr. sir. Mr. Sajad Noon yesterday has said, I am answering your question. Your own, the, the, the PDP BGP minister, Mr. Sajad Noon yesterday has said that we are procuring actual non lethal weapons, sound blasting machines, water cannons. Now, I am taking him for his face value. Now, if he thinks that that is wrong, that is his problem. But the government of the day. Sir, I'll, I'll, tell, you, sir, I'll tell you, sir. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, Mr. 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 Mattu. Mr. Mattu, I yes. also disagree with the use of pellet guns. I think we should use real weapons. Because if you're hitting a security force uh -huh. person Thank you. with a Thank rock the size, sir, yes sir, you're most welcome sir. If you use a rock which is the size of a cricket ball and you throw it at 100 kilometers per hour at the head of a CRP of Jawan, that so stone has the gun. potential to kill. You had a speed gun also. You had a speed gun also with you when you came to Kashmir. Wow. Sir. You had a speed gun also. You introduced no, no, no. <laughs> You introduced nice. Thank you very much, sir. 100 kilometers an hour. Sir, have no, you stood you in front of a rock being thrown at you? You're well, talking about a speed gun. Being no, no, no. Sir, yes. tell, tell, me, tell me something, yeah. sir. How many security yeah. forces people are in hospital right now? There are 3,300 security people in hospital. You don't know. You don't know? Well, I've, I've been because he's sitting in the security of his bedroom no, and talking. Know because they are not your voters. You're talking about speed guns? Yes. So how do you know if I'm in my bedroom? Those people are intensive care units, sir. Okay. I mean, I haven't you, seen them you maybe some intensive care unit in, 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 in an imaginary cuckoo land, but I haven't seen three thousand. Imaginary no, cuckoo land. Imaginary land. cuckoo land. You, you find it funny. I, I You're clapping. Sir, just I a minute, sir. You I are clapping on national TV because 3,300 of my brothers are in hospital. You find that hospital. You find that funny, sir? Yeah, well, seven, uh, 70 of my That's why I say dead. stop the use of stop the use of pellet guns in Kashmir. Use real weapons. Those people who are throwing stone are killers. They are throwing acid bottles, they are throwing Molotov cocktails. Yeah, but they come, they surround police pickets yeah, with an intent to kill. Then Mr. Are, Goswami, I'd like to come in then, for a minute. Then you are, those who are using throws, stones, will use guns also. Then against their guns, your guns, their guns, use this ham-headed argument. Of course. Absolutely, this is what we want. I will kill you, you kill This me. is what we want, use guns. Well, yeah, and if you have the courage, yeah. call up, sir, call up the DG of CRPF and tell him Mr. Goswami. that his boys have the authority to use weapons. I'm giving you four the, hours. The, the, Within four hours, all these stone pelters will no, disappear. No, no, one second, one second. Just, just a point here. Hmm. Why don't you come here and make them disappear with all your, you know, biceps muscle flexing and machoism? Sir, we made them disappear, but Why then you start to cry. Mr. Goswami, can we come back to some more so substantive come, issues, come, I think? Come, Mr. Goswami, come, may I? Come. No, no, no. Nalin, 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 Nalin. I, 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 I will come back one second. But, but, but the point being made here is this. That I don't understand, you know, I put out seven examples of the U-turns done by the National Conference. From its position in 2010 and now and all he said was that I'm taking things out of context. Impossible. Second point is, eight, eight, I want eight, a clear eight. answer from Junaid Mattu tonight that the security forces are pulled up for the use of pellet guns. I want to ask you, do you pull up people for hur hurling, hurling acid bombs? For hurling petrol bombs? Uh, could you please check your... For hurling, oh, yeah. for hurling kerosene please, bombs? Uh, you check your facts. Yeah. Is it true or not? That acid it's bombs, it's petrol bombs and kerosene yeah, yeah, bombs yeah, are being hurled yeah. at security forces. Are you expecting the uh, security forces to stay put? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a small question. I have a confusion. Could you please recount your examples? I think they could have been eight. It's very important. If I have given seven you seven. You could, could you not answer one. For me? That's all right if you're on the back foot. Uh, but sorry. you need to understand I, I, that I there are 116 attacks. There yeah. are 116 attacks on CRPF no, camps. There are 300 CRPF vehicles what which are damaged. How many examples you have? 116 attacks on CRPF camps. Yes or no, Junaid Mattu? 
67 people have died in the protest. Have you mentioned the 3,329 personnel from the Jammu and Kashmir police and the CRPF who've been injured, including them, some many of them who have suffered grievous injuries? Is that a peaceful counter-revolution? Have you mentioned the two security forces who have been killed? Should people still just every, be quiet? Every yes? single day. We mention them every single Yeah, mention, day then mention it now. No, you want, you want, them no, then why did you, you say cuckoo land? You Which cuckoo land are you talking about? India, how how can you say cuckoo you, land, Junaid Matu? Junaid Matu, what is cuckoo land? 1,018 incidents of violence. 1,018 incidents of violence in the first week of August. 29 installations, including police stations, police posts, and other government establishments set ablaze. 51 of these damaged. By injured, protesters, dead, 8, injured, is that happening in Kukuland? I'll get Nalin into the debate. Seventy dead, eight thousand. Okay, Junaid. Nalin is responding. Debate is open. Junaid, one second. Nalin, feel free to come in. Others, feel free to come in. Any point, the debate is open. Please feel free. Mr. Goswami. Pawan Varma. Nalin, Kohli. Everyone else. I think, Mr. Matto, Mr. Matto, Mr. Matto, Mr. Matto. I think for a minute. I'm quiet, quiet, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think let's look at this in perspective. Yeah. That there is a situation. As far as the Prime Minister of the country is concerned, whether it is Prime Minister Modi ji, anyone else, the Home Minister, Finance Minister, no one says that we are not concerned. Everyone is concerned within the opposition or otherwise. The question is trying to reach a solution and creating politics over it or trying to find a solution. Now, where does the problem start? And that's exactly what none of them are willing to acknowledge. The problem started when the security forces achieved a victory in terms of an a successful operation in eliminating our most wanted terrorist, which is Burhan Bani. Supported by Pakistan, thousands of uh, you know weapons have come in, am uh, ammunition is coming in, RDX and other explosives are coming in, money is coming in. When that success comes in against a wanted terrorist who is glorifying terrorism, you have a situation that is created into this and the idea is given as if it's a Satyagraha. Yeah, it's I not a Satyagraha. A Satyagraha is always peaceful. Then as you've pointed out, there are two sides to the story. Protesters, if they get violent, obviously security forces becomes incumbent upon them to take action. In that, what option they have today is the use of pellet guns. Nobody says it's the best Introduce choice. Introduced so during the term of the National If they Conference. use bullets, then the casualties are more. And they are receiving attacks in terms of stones, in terms of other things, which is leading to loss of life and also of injury. So if you have to condemn one thing, you have to condemn the other because violence cannot be one way good and one way bad. Violence is not desirable, but we there are situations them. where if it threatens the sovereignty of the we state or if it violence. threatens the Samir security Kaur, of the Varma, Navid, Who is in an armed force? Samir now, today Kaur, we are Navid, today, those who find it convenient to attack totally the police and the security forces are the same bad. people who were praising them when they went out and risked their lives during the floods. When they risked their lives taking the bullet in protecting a civilian. So I think it's, this is a two-way story. So the first thing is that Mr. Mattu and his party may have had a stand at 2002, which is contrary to the standard. They acknowledge it. Samir Kaur, Pawan Varma, Junaid, let others Someone is doing a good job in trying to bring some policy, contribute to your ideas. Samir Kaur is responding. To condemn it, I don't think it's going to lead anywhere. I have just once. They have to also face the consequences of the blame that will follow. I Was have just not, one, not one, saying that these, one these statistic to prove up. Right Samir to call on the debate. Junaid, let Samir come in, please. Let Paul Varma come in, please. Let Naved Hamid come just, in, please. Yeah, yeah Samir call. Samir call. Very, Samir call. Very, very humbly, Arnab. Yes. Just two, just two points to make. Yeah. One point is that there is no point in fighting over who brought the pellet guns and who didn't. It's a matter of learning from past mistakes and getting better at it. You know, whoever may have brought it, but things evolve. Human beings evolve, human really? mind evolve. Injuries evolve? evolve Injuries evolve? evolve. Stone so, throwers so, evolve? Fixing, fixing. What do you mean evolve? May I? Yeah, then, what do you mean evolve? No, clarify that. Evolve Sushil Pandit on the other side. Learn. Sushil, what do you mean things means evolve? Pellet guns evolve. Samir you call. learn, Arnab. Ridiculous. Not, you Dr. learn. Samir call. Not that you keep on, keep on the same tone every time. You learn. That's what a human being, a higher cerebral form, better than Don't a monkey. Don't do philosophy you learn from learn. what you, and, what you and, experience. And repeat the mistakes. And, yes, and you learn from your experience, you and the experience that, is that, that, that pellet nobody, guns have not been able to deter people. 
نو بڈی کین ابزال بیڈلی ہینڈلنگ بلیم آن دی ادر گائے اٹ از اٹ از اونلی بیکاز آف دا پیٹی پالیٹکس دیٹ وی کنٹینیو یو سی وائی ڈونٹ یو ایکسپٹ دا بیسک فیکٹ دیٹ دا پی ڈی پی اینڈ بی جے پی کمبائنڈ ہیز ناٹ بین ایکسپٹیڈ بائی دا پیپل ان کشمیر سو ہٹ دا نیل آن دا ہیڈ دیٹس واٹ دا ٹروتھ از That's why they no. are rebelling all over. Dr. Samir, let us start with one no, counter. No, 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 no. You are attacking the BJP and no, PDP. No, 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 no. Please begin by condemning Burhan no, 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 Bani no, 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 and condemning no, 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 no. violence, terrorism, separatists and Pakistan. Let's start with that. That is Dr. one Samir, aspect. Call, how of did course we will. Then we, we can talk about all the problems that we have in turn. That is just one aspect. The other aspect is total and misgovernance and disaffection. One aspect, no, can we start with an unequivocal condemnation? That Samir Jammu call, Jammu. would you say, I condemn Pakistan. I condemn the uh, separatists who are bringing violence. I of condemn course, them for I bringing innocent Pakistan. students and motivating them to people. put their lives listen and injure to me. themselves listen by to me. resorting to I violence. And I condemn so do terrorists all people, like Burhan Wani who glorify uh, violence and try to show it as a glorious thing. Let's begin with these four statements. No, no, no. I, you, you, you cannot, thing that you cannot yes, put Mr. everything Paul into that basket. Of view. No, that is because not correct. Is on this because point, you also know. Yes, there is you no also know, Nalan, that is incorrect. That is not the whole thing. The whole thing is about public disaffection. It's about non-governance. It's about ham-handedness. Mr. Call, we will come to the whole part. half it's complete, about getting one fourth, three fourths, no, two thirds, four fifths, four fifths all of it after you can Who begin these basics. That position? Do you believe Why that terrorism is bad? That? Yes or no, it can't be that I believe terrorism is good. Of course. That's the Pakistani stand. So begin by saying terrorism is bad. So Burhan Wani who picked up a gun terrorism and got eliminated in an encounter because he was fighting that. the security Everyone forces, that, that was acceptable. Separate. This is not... What is happening there is misrule. So say it on the show. What is happening Why there everyone? is what is no the alibi of all the everyone? And in a free alibi No, no, no you're willing to accept the reality, it, Samir Kaur. Let's begin, I'm saying no, it. No, Why one don't you say it? Nalin, Nalin, one second. Nalin, 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 one second. Pawan Varma on the way. Pawan Varma, and then I'll come in. Pawan Varma. Uh, Arnab, sorry, I have waited very long. I want to begin by saying that our armed forces are doing a very creditable job in very difficult circumstances and I be, and I want to say that no one has the right to resort to violence whatever the level of grievances I want to make a simple point Fair. the real enemy that we have to fight today is the intervention of Pakistan overtly visibly flamboyantly unprecedentedly now in Jammu and Kashmir Absolutely. if their envoy in Delhi actually states that their independence day is going to be dedicated to the independence of Kashmir yeah which means that he is openly claiming to secede a portion of India away from the country to which he is accredited that's right then this kind of unprecedented involvement in Jammu Kashmir I, I think uh, is the real enemy now having said that I want to merely quote Chanakya that you cannot ultimately fight an external enemy as persistent, tenacious, violent, ruthless and brutal as this unless your own people somehow are ultimately with you in fighting this enemy. In Jammu Kashmir today, the situation is complex and difficult and violence is very often a response to violence. But ultimately, we have to find a situation where we begin a process of building bridges, creating a rapport and yeah. a healing touch with our own people in Jammu Kashmir yeah. in order to fight the real enemy which is Pakistan. Okay. This is what I believe. I agree. And this is what I believe needs to be done. I agree. The Prime Minister made the right noises and the right statement today. And I believe that process needs to be taken forward. Yes. Let me add, finally, I believe not enough has been done in that process. The BJP, PDP in an 11-page document called the Agenda for Alliance committed themselves to start that process. They have not done so. Now all parties need to rise above politics Who? in order to do so. Sir, that I'm is the real challenge. Uh, Pawan Varma, Pawan Varma, first point to you. Lot of what you say today is reasonable and after a long time 
I find myself in a point of agreement with you. But I would want you to go one Why step further. Why after a long time, Arna? We have agreed many of them. No, no, but I would want you to go one step further. And I want you to tell Junaid Mattu, who for some reason is looking at this whole issue through blinkered eyes, that this Hurriyat does not represent Kashmiris. People like him have kept saying India should hold talks with separatist Hurriyat conference. Who is this Hurriyat? What about the 15 lakh Shias of Kashmir whose aspirations but, and uh, ambitions? What about their aspirations and ambitions yes. when it comes uh, to I'm matters of self-determination? I have come so late and you have asked me a question. Hurriyat the Shia leaders as well. Hurriyat can I, can I respond? Well. Pavan, Pavan, what about the 35 lakh Hindus of Jammu Mr. and Kashmir? Mr. Verma. Mr. Let, let what about the 1.15 lakh Buddhists of Jammu and Kashmir? Something very what about the 2.34 lakh Sikhs of Jammu and Kashmir? What about the 35,000 Christians of Jammu and Kashmir? Who, who represents? What you are saying is very, what you are saying is very important. But I want to congratulate Mr. Pavan Verma today. I want to congratulate Mr. Pavan Verma from the core of my heart today. Mr. Pavan Verma, you are a very lucky man. You should thank your stars. Mr. Arnab Goswami, the great, has agreed. Cut the sarcasm answer. So that is the end all, be all Cut and the end sarcasm all. answer. That is the be all no, and end all of all narratives. If he agrees with you or disagrees with you. No, Cut no, the no, sarcasm no. and answer. That is what matters. Cut the sarcasm no, and answer. Has Shia leaders as well. Water of a duck's back, Junaid, answer the question. There are different stakeholders. Uh, yes. There are different stakeholders. Some of them are secessionists. You have to talk to everybody. Talk to yes. us. Talk to Huriyat. Yes. No. Huriyat has Shia leaders. Why should also. we talk to the... Talk to Shia why should... I no, I'm sorry. Talk to everybody. You don't have to talk, Bayan. No, I'm sorry. Junaid Mattu. Junaid Mattu. Junaid Mattu. Junaid Mattu. The Indian government has to talk. Junaid you, Mattu. When I say you, when I, say you I don't mean Arnab Goswami. Junaid Mattu. The news anchor, the Indian Arnab. government has to talk. Junaid Mattu. Goswami, this is also an interesting Junaid, Junaid Mattu. Junaid Mattu, I, 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 Nalin wants to respond to you. No, no, Nalin wants to respond to you. And and no, I, I, I wish I could I wish I could Goswami. no 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 watch sec watch sec but before before Nalin two, before you come in two things I want before, to say no no Nalin before you come Mr. in Goswami. before you come in Nalin I just want to make one point to Junaid Mat. No you ask me a question I just want to answer that Arnab I have not been in this debate. Sure so go, go on go on power and Arnab go on. You see, you asked me a question about what I can say to Junaid Muttu about who do you talk to. I entirely agree with you. It's not easy. But in a courageous leap, the BJP-PDP alliance itself committed to talking to all stakeholders in Jammu Kashmir, One. irrespective of their ideology. No, do you want with a view, with a view to finding? No, no, Arnav, let me finish, please, I, because you, with a view to begin a process, however difficult. Of possible engagement while excluding by okay. all means no, 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 those who are beyond the pain, just, just hardliners who are separatists. Now my question to you is, my question to you Arnab is this. I'm sorry, I have to be if you question. want to play into the hands Thank of you, Pakistan, Thank you. then please no, follow that advice Arnabasur. given to you where our armed forces should use lethal weapons and eliminate the people of Jammu Kashmir. I've never, I've been most appalled by that kind of expression of opinion. We are dealing with our own people. No, but the, provocation the separatists. Is high and the no, 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 I'm sorry. No, no, I'm, so, I'm sorry. But, I'm, I'm but very sorry. We cannot I'm, talk I'm very sorry, manner. Pawan Verma. Pawan it's Verma, may I, may I, may I come in? Genocide. Pawan Verma, Pawan Verma, Pawan Verma, you call the separatists our own people. I'd say take a call today on, on and take a poll across this country. You are saying that we should give legitimacy to people who share the stage, only. who share the stage with Hafiz Saeed. I'm saying the people of we Jammu should Kashmir we we should call a person. We, have we to should talk to the youth. No, 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 no. We have to build confidence. With Gilani India. represents the youth. We have to deliver the eighty thousand crore. Package. Gilani represents the youth. You have to Arna. do much more. You have no, no. to do what this government promised and has not Pawan done. Pawan Verma, Pawan Verma, answer the question. Who is this Suryat? Why don't all of you come out and say they represent nobody? Oh, oh. But the pro park voice, I will narrow it I down on they that. they represent nobody. I think, I think, but I am not saying talk only to I the I think Huriyat. you must ask this question I'm to General Rura also. I am saying we have to begin 
General Huda mentioned them the other day. Uh, okay, I let, and I, I let and terrorism and especially that sponsored by Pakistan. I, I let, I let, we I have let, to begin an engagement process this, with this, our own this, people. This, this, Otherwise, you, you end to the hand Mr. of Pawan Varma, Mr. Pawan Varma, I'm sorry, but I'll, before Nalin comes in, this whole definition of our own people, you say Asya Andrabi is our own people? Yasin Malik is our own people. Asya Andrabi calls up Hafiz Saeed and Yasin Malik goes and shares a stage with him. You call them our own people? Are they our own people? Are Arnab, please don't Please The silent majority, Arnab. Are they our own people? In the image of the hardliners. Arnab, silent I am precisely Pawan Varma. Pawan Verma, I am precisely and, saying and this. Prime Minister made the right pa Pawan Verma, Pawan Verma, I would only that say this. Pawan Verma, Pawan Verma, the debate is over. Naveed Hamid can come in and, and, and uh, Nalin Kohli can also come in from that. But please understand, the separatists do not represent Kashmiris. Kashmiris is not equal but to I some pro-Pakistan separatists. Separatist. Arnab, you are repeating Mr. yourself. Oswami, I am. I am. Nalin Kohli is on the debate. Nalin Kohli with Pawan Verma. Go ahead. Nalin. Arnab. Nalin is on the debate. Arnab. Nalin and Naved Hamid. have suffered lethal pellet so, first injuries I think, are below the so First, I'd say. Arnab, first of all, you need, need to, to cut some to confusion youth. out. Mr. Pawan Goswami. Nalin Kohli. I think what Pawan Verma is saying, I think the starting point is, I would, I would, may I? Somebody speaking in between. May I just finish my point, please? May I? Thank you. So, uh, what Mr. Pawan Verma is saying, certainly, I think any one of us is not going to say that you pick up a bullet and start shooting your citizens because we don't have a counter view. I think what uh, the panelist earlier, perhaps it was uh, Mr. Arya, when he was speaking, I think that was more of an emotional angle and I think he felt was trying to communicate just as others were his pain vis-a-vis -vis the situation of the security forces. Because we are talking of large numbers, 3,300 people is not a small number. However, beyond that emotional outburst, what the Prime Minister, others, and I agree with Pavanji completely, that you don't pick up a gun and you start shooting your citizens. Yes, you have to take what is called appropriate action when the situation so warrants. Now, in this case, the pellet guns, whether it causes an injury in one part or another part, it's not a deliberate use to cause injury in a particular spot. It is what is called the collateral outcome of that situation. So, if you look at the pellet guns, the other question is equally important. What are 15-year-old ch children carrying rocks, other lethal things in their bags instead of books, pens, uh, computers? That's the normalcy that you have to do. When he talks about talks, of course, that there has mean? to be talks within the frame work of the Indian constitution but if you say that the Huryat represents the people yes. of Jammu and Kashmir then you are running down the very mandate of democracy even though the I BJP and the you, PDP did, were not committee. the most natural of allies the very fact that there is a mandate that's respected in the form of the government has to be complemented that's one. And, and Second is, if you're looking at, a, a if you're looking at Pakistan, Pakistan, as some people suggest, cannot be a stakeholder in this. Because this is the person who's causing a problem in the house. So you say you have a license no, no, have to come a... and cause problem in our house. You come here and create problem for our citizens, for the government, for everybody, the security forces. And therefore, we call you for talks. Excuse no, me. No, 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 what second? Pakistan, the talks are going to be on no. terror. No, uh, my question Pakistan is. Pakistan is a perpetrator of terror. Word. As uh, one who unleashes terror, Samir has Kal. to be told unequivocally that this is not this is not acceptable. And that is the context where Gilgit, Balochistan Nalin. and all becomes important. They have a set of problems in their Nalin. own country. Nalin. They unleash their armed forces with Nalin. air force and all on their citizens. That has to be exposed. With what hypocrisy are they trying to unnecessarily interfere in India's uh, own uh, internal uh, uh, matters? An elementary question, if I may please, at this okay. point is. Now, now, I, uh, now with, with, with Nalin, just a point here. Nalin, no, no matter all that you say today, we all agree that Pakistan has a very dirty role to play. We condemn it. But none of this is going to take away the responsibility that the PDP and BJP combined must take. Uh, Samir, 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 one minute. Samir, Where Samir, Samir, can you today? stop one bit of Where nonsense if I may? Workers? Samir, Samir, Where listen. Samir, 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 Samir. No, no, Samir. Arnab, you can't stop me. No, no, because I'm, I'm present. Uh, Samir, you I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a counter view. I'm, edu I'm, I'm educating you on some facts. But Mr. Call. No, no, one second. And Mr. Goswami. No, no, one second. Just one. Nalin Kohli. Nalin Kohli. The BJP PDP is not walking away from any responsibility. No less than the Prime Minister himself is saying that, the Chief Minister is saying that, Nalin. the governments in both places Where? are saying that. 
We are acknowledging if there are good I want to ask a question to Naved and Samir Kaul. Because this is part of nation building. Naved and Samir Kaul, please. Samir, a minute. Samir, a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you really feel that the whole thing was handled maturely and efficiently by the ruling combined? You are asking me questions. You are asking me questions and wait for a reply. Right from the word go. Samir, the elimination of Burhan Wani. Samir, one minute. That the elimination of Burhan Wani, which has shaken Pakistan to its core. Because that was on which they were building. You say that was immature security forces doing their job in protecting the sovereignty and security of citizens. And the country is not a mature responsibility. If you pick the gun, you are going to face the consequences of some time or the other dying by the gun. But that's not how it is. When you are looking at it from that perspective, Sameer, please look at the complete on the other side. Now take up a narrow prism and say maturity is needed. You cannot absorb. Can I can I say something at this point? And and, and Naveed Hamid, before I come to you, before I before I come to you, before no no no, got up, got up, got up. One minute, got up. Just one second. I'll take a break. I'll come back to the debate. Just wait a while. Naveed Hamid, you are president of the All India Muslim Majlis of Mushawarah. Now, you know, don't react negatively to what I'm about to tell you, but react as a person with some logic. And now, with me, don't take it personally. Also, I think it is time we stop this utter and absolute nonsense that these protests are political in nature, because the fact is they are anything but political. By giving them the credibility of a political protest. We are concealing the obvious religious color to these protests. Do we have the Do we have the honesty to talk about the religious color to these protests? Don't tell me, Naveed Hamid, that the presence of ISIS flags every Friday during protests in Srinagar have nothing to do with the religious radicalization of the youth. What we are seeing in Kashmir today is a further deterioration through the increasing role played by these ISIS sympathizers. You don't want to talk about it. ISIS flags routinely appearing in Friday protests, and in instead of expressing worry. Omar Abdullah said it's simply the work of a few idiots. That was till 2014. There is open evidence that Hafiz Saeed and Asia Andrabi are working to create unrest in Kashmir. They both represent the most regressive brand of Salafi Islam, Salafi Islam, and we have no problems with the import of the Salafi philosophy into Kashmir. This is being propped up by these separatists. There is open evidence that Syed Salahuddin has a hand in the protests. The protests are about a man called Burhan Wani, a terrorist, and. Syed Salahuddin defined the separatist movement as a movement which have been Islamized, Islamized from day one. So today, I want the president of of the All India Muslim Majlis Mushawarat to openly say on News Hour tonight that this is not about autonomy alone. This is an Islamist protest that is being created. Through a Salafi push, accept it, Naveed Hamid. Accept it because if I want more facts, Syed Salahuddin, as recently as 2014, invited the Al Qaeda and the Taliban, who are the two worst Wahhabi outfits, to assist the freedom movement. This is all about a Salafi Islamist protest. I hope a person like you will not run away from this reality tonight. Yes, I have only freedom from humanity. Let me. No, no. Answer that tonight. Inviting the ISIS uh, and anything like answer that. Answer that tonight. Now, wait, Ami. Freedom from speak humanity. Speak allow me to. That this is, is this is not about autonomy. This is about Islamist. It's an Islamist speak protest. Would you allow me to speak up or not? Yeah, I just needed to make the point. Arnab. Yes. You know, in one of your shows, I have categorically, you know, remarked that. Burhan Wani was Hezbollah Mujahideen terrorist. I agreed. Would you recall that or not? Am I asking you about the Islamist angle to this protest? Please I, I answer. Would, I, I, Do you recall I, 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 my I, I question or not? I I I I would I I am coming to that. This is about is Wahhabi Salafi what, what Islam. Is, what is what as is being it? pushed by Asia Andrabi? Wa, wa, uh, Please what accept Hezbollah the facts. Mujahideen stands for what? What Hezbollah Mujahideen stands for? We I need to understand that. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is people? People are trying to people are trying to sabotage the inclusive culture of Kashmir, sabotage its Sufi traditions for their own perverse religious ends. People who, by their own admission, do not believe in secularism and who believe that Kashmir should be exclusively an Islamic state and not Islamic in the in the Sufi sense, but in the Salafi Wahhabi sense of it. I am asking this question on national television. I want you to deny that this is about this is about an Islamist. It's an Islamist attempt at creating an Islamist terrorism in Kashmir. It's, Accept it's, it tonight. It's, it's, Don't give it the tone of political correctness. It's, it's not. It's not a question of giving political correctness. My Sir? submission is that number one, we need to understand there are forces in Pakistan which which are bent to. You know that, uh, Sir, I am asking uh, you. Uh, I am asking you. I am asking you. And and by the way, I think Sushil Pandit is realizing we are not getting a clear answer to my question. This is an alien concept. You don't let him speak. Alien concept of Salafi Islamic exclusivity in which there is no place for pandits, Unless. Buddhists, and Shias, and others who call Jammu and Kashmir their home. This is a form of Less Islamic philosophy. This is a Salafi Islamic is is Islamist I, I, view where women should quit put, their job, not, should stay at home. I have all you have to don't do. Don't try to put words in my mouth. I want. I, I want. You have to. I, do. Don't try to put I'm words sorry. in my mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are you are avoiding the obvious religious angle to the protest. You are avoiding the religious angle to the protest. Not at all. You are avoiding the religious angle to the protest. All all people like you are avoiding. Let me complete. Let me complete. No, you need to accept the reality. You, you, you need to you need to understand what let I'm, me I'm give to, you know, Hamid Saab just an example if he is keeping an open mind all you have to do is to listen to the slogan in the street it says hum kya chahte azadi azadi ka matlab kya la ilaha illallah that is what is reverberating it is completely you have first and foremost cleansed the entire Hindu population from the valley. 27 years ago, this is what you did, the first thing in your movement. And then oh, you no. say that it is, you know, the worst thing is when you say, I agree with you, you agree with me, let's now engage with the youth, let's now start building bridges, let's do a political management and that is the kind of papering over which stinks. And which is what brings you back to this problem time and again. Because you have the hypocrisy of not accepting the fact when it is presented to you before you. I'm the not. point is we are trying to divert our attention from the real problem. The problem is today jihad is blooming, stinking large on the streets of Kashmir. Viewers, viewers. Viewers, on Sir, this on uh, this uh, particular uh, subject, uh, uh, my submission no. is my submission so, is. Now wait, now if wait, we get Nawed into Ji. the trap of Pakistan and the terrorist no, 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 working no, day and no, night to Islamize. No, no. You know, Sir, I I'll, I'll tell you, I I yeah, Pakistan we, we, we has already be, done we, the job. We, we would. We would be when Pakistan was at it, serving their interest. Sir, Naveed Hamid was at it, 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 Mr. Hamid. It is a Indian issue. Pakistan has it's done the job. Issue. It has contaminated. It's, it's not it has Islamic released issue. the virus. And it is already what multiplied. Shah Faisal, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. What Shah Faisal had said. Let, 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 let me repeat that. Shah Faisal said. Is this the idea of India which can win Kashmiri hearts? Okay, can I ask you a question instead of Sir. quoting Shah Faisal? Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. I'll take a break right now. You can call up, you can call up why Shah Faisal or any logical person and ask them what is the serious threat that Kashmiris themselves face with this growing radicalism and the import of Wahhabi Islam? I want Shah Faisal to write an essay on it. People should also talk about the suppression to one's free, right to free expression because of this brand of Wahhabi Islam that the likes of Asya Andrabi propagate which says you throw acid on the faces of women. You don't ignore the dangers of an import of a brand of Islam that is favored by the ISIS. You ignore the dangers of the giving the practitioners of this divisive ideology a foothold in a sensitive state like Jammu and Kashmir. Don't ignore that. I'll take it further. I want a debate on this, on whether what is happening in Kashmir 
is a result of the Pakistani attempt at pushing Wahhabi Salafi Islam into the state. We'll take a short break. Back in five minutes. Then we take the debate forward and then we go to debate number two. Back you see you see you on the other side. Just two minutes on the news are tonight. I'm back in two minutes. Okay, coming back on the debate, five more minutes on this debate. Samir Kaul and Pawan Varma, why do people get so uncomfortable when the reality is put out here that what is happening in Kashmir is that there is a very strong Islamist angle to these protests. These protests are in the defense of a terrorist called Burhan Wani. They are in defense of a, of, of, a, of a Hezbollah Mujahideen operative and they are being pushed by Salafi Wahhabi forces. Why is there so much discomfort over this fact? In fact, uh, yes, Pawan Varma. No, I there should be no discomfort no, because, because it's the I, truth. I get no. Okay, uh, okay I don't. Now who's speaking first? Tell no, us. No, no, you go ahead, Pawan Varma, and then Samir. Yeah, after Pawan, yeah. Okay. First of all, I think there should be no discomfort. There should be acceptance of the truth that, in terms of Pakistan's infiltration and involvement in Jammu Kashmir, it is a mirror image of what is happening in Pakistan itself. Where there has been a complete spread of the Wahhabi extremist culture and you just actually travel towards Islamabad from Lahore and you can see it visibly. And that is what is being exported to Jammu Kashmir. Yeah. And that is why it's all the more important that we must do our best, Arnab, yeah, but then to ensure that our people of Jammu Kashmir are part of the multicultural, plural, democratic mainstream of India. Agree. And try and be a bulwark to these forces. Yes. But I have no doubt on that issue. Yeah, but, but having said that, Pawan Varma, I mean, just taking the discussion forward, for someone like Samir Kaul must also understand, Samir Kaul, these protests are not for jobs, for employment, but for more resources. These protests are in support of a terrorist called Burhan Wani. These protests are not against the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. They are in favor of continuing the violent movement of separatism in the Kashmir Valley. These protests are not even against the high-handedness of the Indian police. They are in defense of a man who recruited thousands of Kashmiri boys to keep the valley burning, to pull them into terrorism. So I I, I don't know why you Only are Only one thing, I, no, no, If you'll no, no. allow me, can I've I got you, your point. Can yes. I give you? Can I give you? Yes. Because I, do, I, I don't believe it's entirely either or. Thing. The best way uh, for people Pawan, not to support Pawan. a ruthless Hezbollah uh, commander is if that they have a job. If they are earning an income. If they can study further, yeah. if their families are... I, what I'm trying to say, Arnab, is that it's not an either-or situation. No, I once mentioned on your channel I, yeah, yeah, that two-thirds of the people in the Kashmir Valley Varma, are 30 years of age, but, but of which Mr. half are unemployed. No, no, but Mr. So Varma, we need to do more. No, no, the no, Prime no, Minister no, no, promised no, no, it. We need to deliver it. Okay, Sushil so Pandit counted it. But, no, no, what's but this is the problem, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One minute. I need to, for a minute, Mr. Goswami, here yeah. is the problem. It becomes a chicken and egg scenario. Yeah, Samir on the right. Yeah. For jobs, you need no, no. to have. La, la, look at the other perspective. You need Arnav. to have infrastructure. And for infrastructure and development, you also need to have peace. That is oh true. This is the real that story. Is so, well of course. But, but, but then you need jobs. No, 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 you need to find that. that but then is it going to happen but by the shutting down education to be made, institutions? By going out there. So, these are, this is the chicken and egg scenario. So I think the very first step is to be able to find peace before you go to the next step. And the next step, everyone is talking about it. Peace is the first know, thing. So I think everyone exactly. who says that we need a solution exactly. so the only has way to actively so, ensure so, so the that the students step. are not going to be out on the street in the first place. So we agree here that this is essentially an Islamist nature to these protests. Is, uh, and Samir Arna, call, Samir call, filing a resolution. Sam, Samir call. Was it the Jammu Arna, and Kashmir police or Asia Andrabi? I, I quite agree. No, no. Arna, was it the Jammu Arna. and Kashmir police or Asia Andrabi who called give, for a complete you shutdown? You give wrong examples, Arnav. These are not examples of Kashmiris, good Kashmiris. The silent majority you always ignore. No, the Jammu and the Kashmir The silent majority doesn't even get a get a space. To I am talk precisely. About so I am, I am precisely telling you that. What do you, you don't allow them to talk. I am. I am precisely telling you that Samir call. Samir call. Never allow them to talk. Samir call. You. You are the one who has reduced it to binaries by putting Jammu and Kashmir police on the one side, then put Asya Andrabi on the other. Did Asya Andrabi not call for a complete I shutdown? No. 
on July no, 9th, 10th, is, and 11th? It is, it is did she not? Created, no, no. Did she? Did she not say? It is created by the politicians, which picks one, one our own people against Precisely. each other. Precisely. In, in that case, the mess is created by bad political management. Yeah. In they that, never in that rose case, to the occasion. In that Why don't case, you accept that? In that case, you know, in that, that case, that in that case, uh, no, no. One sec. One sec. In that, in, in that case, because the silent majority, you say everyone from Kashmir is Asia and Rajasthan. Samir, 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 I am Samir, Samir, Samir. One minute. It's principally, principally and totally, as you are fully aware, well aware, my position is the opposite. I say these Huriyat represent nobody. I just wait for the day when Kashmiri politicians have the courage to say one word against Asya Andrabi or Gilani. When Asya Andrabi says the struggle against occupation will continue till Kashmir is free. Why are the Kashmiri politicians quiet? Why is Omar Abdullah quiet? Why are they all quiet? Because why don't because then you people you people why react to you people react why is Mehbooba Mufti quiet? Why is Mehbooba Mufti quiet? Exactly. You people react to Asya and Rabi. Now wait a minute. And do your politics in, with in them. In 2010, Mehbooba was quiet. Now wait a minute. In 2010, the problem with the Kashmir is that the leaders are hypocrites. No, I'd like to ask. They are. No, they are hypocrites. Let me. Okay, I agree with you. You tell me. You tell me where is Mehbooba Mufti today? Why is she not with her people? No, but, but Why is she not talking to them? Why is she not explaining to them that this is not the way to go? She explained in great detail. Not in Kashmir. Arnab, 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 he he had argued for a dialogue factual, with all stakeholders, very factual and on the ground, including including separatists. No, why are you obsessed with separatists? Why are you obsessed with Absolutely. separatists? Absolutely. I'm, I'm no, no, separat who are, why are you obsessed, obsessed with separatists? I, let, why I why are you? Not, no, why why I no? One second. Naved Hamid. I am not. Naved Hamid. Naved Hamid. Naved Hamid. Huda. Naved Hamid. Listen. Let, let us let us bring this down. Journal. Let us bring this down to basics. Uh, Naved Hamid. Arnab. Naved Hamid. When Naved a general wants to have a dialogue with Huriyat, I know what kind of a dialogue he wants, and I think army and Huriyat should be left alone to do that dialogue. I completely agree. Uh, I, I didn't get an answer. Army must have. Defense forces must I, have I didn't get an answer. permission to hold the dialogue. I didn't get an answer to my question from Naved Hamid at all. Naved Hamid, no, no. Naved Hamid, one yeah. minute. Naved Hamid, listen to my question. Don't respond before I ask my question. You know, I just want this is national television. Everyone's watching you here today. Say today on television that Salafi Wahhabi Islam is being imported and pushed into India by Pakistani forces. And it will sabotage the inclusive culture of Kashmir. Say that Salafi Islam will sabotage the inclusive culture of Kashmir. How do you expect that I would agree hundred percent with your statement? You won't. How you, can you don't expect that I would agree? You don't. I I, I would agree hundred percent with your statement. You do or don't? No, I would not agree hundred percent with your statement. You would not agree. There are they, they, there are there are colors of religion in Kashmiri separatist movement. There you are. I, 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 I'm Sorry. surprised. I, I thought, I thought you believe in the inclusive overrides. culture of Kashmir. I thought you believe no, in the no, inclusive culture of Kashmir. I, 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 agree. I, I, I agree. I agree with that. Hmm. What I said that there are, there are foreign expo, ex, imported. Salafi. Uh, why should I say Salafi? Islamist, uh, I would say. Wahhabi. Who are you to judge? Is, is that a Salafi or a Wahhabi? I'm asking you that it's a political, is this political Islam, which is which is, 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 which is no, no, no. One sec, one sec, one, one sec, one. Just a minute, just a minute. Don't get worked up. It is up. also doctrinaire don't, 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 don't get worked up. It is also fundamental don't, don't get worked up. What I said today, Naveed Hamid, is the use of religion to push it into politics. Yes, agree. And agree. if required, one second, sir, the use of religion to push it into politics and also use it to justify terrorism. That is what the problem is. Or for that matter, as Asya Andrabi interprets it, to throw acid on the faces of people. The same people who are the biggest enemies of women in Kashmir, they don't even allow Kashmir's ever first girl band to operate. They get insecure about that. I am telling you here today, they are sabotaging the inclusive culture of Kashmir. They're using they're using religion to push terrorism, justify terrorism. You have no problems Arnab, with it. With you have no problems with it, sir. Which sensible Indian would agree Arnab, with what what uh, Andhra Pradesh is too? I'll just, I, I'm sorry. I'll okay, just need half okay. A minute, Arnab. 
Okay, all right. Once again, Sushil Pandit, and then then we are debating this. Yeah, Sushil Pandit. Arnab, you have to step into a school, an ordinary school in Kashmir today. You will know what you will face 15 years from now. I know teachers who were there only to teach as Prime Minister's job package. They are objecting to even half sleeves clothes that they wear. They are supposed to cover themselves from head to toe even if they are 10 year old or 8 year old. They have injected such venomous virus at the school level itself, at the primary school level in Kashmir, that you will be shocked with what you face 10 years from now. That is what Kashmir is breeding today to hurt us even more than how, it, how we are hurt today. There is a grim problem that we are facing. Pakistan has done its job. Now it has Pakistan's proxies who are carrying I, over I, the I mantle. Only, I only pointed out. I only Pakistan pointed out. They are amidst us. I, I only pointed out three facts. The tonight. time of stopping Pakistan was long over. Viewers, Pakistan has enough proxies to do its job. I now within I, our society. I only, here I only pointed out three facts tonight. Fact number one. The National Conference took a completely different perspective of things in 2010. Fact number two, the Hudiyat absolutely does not represent Kashmiris. And fact number three, there is a strong Islamist angle to these protests. These protests are not political. I'm willing to have yet another debate on the news hour tonight. But for now, I thank you all for joining me on debate number two on the news hour this evening.